Hello everyone, this is King Connelty. This video, I will show you our new product. Uh, this is the KC868 A16 part. And we have designed this part based on A4, A8. And this is new design. Uh, and we have added the IS485 interface on this part. And so that you can connect with many IS485 sensor for long distance. And also we have replaced this USB part uh, by the Type C and uh, the older version, the A4 and the A8 is used by the mini USB. And this time we have used this Type C and easy use your mobile phone cable to connect with this part for download the program. And also it's used by the Ethernet and by the Wi-Fi and for the Bluetooth and used by the ESP32. Okay, now I will tell you some details of this part. Let's look at this part. Uh, this is the A4 part. This is the 4-channel relay output and the digital input. And you can see uh, this A4 part. And after the A4 part, we have designed this A8 part. The A8 part is used 8-channel relay output and 8-channel digital input. And this time we have added the Ethernet. And you can use uh, both the port, the Wi-Fi, and the Ethernet. And this time we have designed this A16 part. Uh, this part is different because at this time we have designed this output. All use this MOSFET and not use this relay because you can use this external relay module uh, connect to this output part and it will be uh, stable. And you can see also we have at this part, uh, this is IS-485 uh, and this two part, no IS-485 uh, this part only IS-232 and this we have uh, for long distance, you can use 485 and you can see uh, this is the output uh, for the MOSFET and this is a button and for download and for reset Actually, you not need to use this download uh, button because we have designed the auto program secured, a uh, download circuit. So you just uh, press the download on your software and not need to press this button. And this time, you can see uh, we have replaced the USB uh, with the Type C. So you can use the Type C mobile phone cable uh, connect with this board and uh, replace with the mini USB. And also this is used uh, uh, DC 12 volt uh, for this whole board uh, working. And this is ESP32 module. Uh, you can see uh, this is ESP32. And this is for Ethernet. And this is the Ethernet part. And this is for the GPIO that uh, you can use by yourself for any device uh, such as you can use temperature sensor, humidity sensor, and the LD strip and many just use the GPIO. We have used the pole resistance uh, connect with the VCC, uh, so you can use many different uh, devices. This is a four channel analog input, but two channel of is from zero to five voltage input, and the two channel is from four to 20 milliampere, uh, the current sensor input. Uh, so this can use for different sensor input and uh, this is Ethernet and uh, you can also have this point uh, this is I square C interface uh, you can extend your sensor or extend your I square C device uh, you can see uh, this is clock and the date and the VCC and the ground uh, for this hole and at this section uh, this is wireless uh, receive module interface and this is RF wireless send module interface. You can install 433 MHz or 315 MHz uh, receive or and transmit module on these two sections. So this is the board. Uh, we can see the back. This is the PCB back on the side. And uh, this is the in front size. And then we can also use this all socket is removable. You can see like this, all can be removable. And this is a full input. Uh, you can remove it out and connect with this one uh, by this screw and just connect to the part again. Okay, this is our 
A16 channel bug. Uh, you can also download this code by your Arduino ID or by other software by yourself. It's easy to use and also can use by the ESP home uh, running on Home Assistant. Okay, thanks for watching.